Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Can one really survive on what he or she makes from acting? Is it possible for one to survive solely from what he or she makes from acting? Uh, if not the certain things so that you didn't interview me as well, for so make you answer that question yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know it is possible. <coughs> and it has been happening. You know, you met me on the set of... The first time I met you as well was on the set of... Uh, Family every circle day, in Ogba. Yeah, family circle, yes. That's true. Not everyday people. Family circle. Yes, I and, remember. And, and then, yeah. You know how long that that has been? You know how long ago that is? Yeah. Huh? I do About nothing else. Okay. Over 20 years, right. I do nothing else, but I'm surviving as 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 best as uh, the economy will allow. You know? It's enough. But you see, because of the dexterity, the, 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 the opportunities in that business. You make money from some other sources related to the business. You can be an MC, you can be a consultant, you can be a teacher, you can be a carpenter, you can be a makeup person, you can be a costume person, because all these things are taught in the course, in the university. You can decide to say, okay, I just want to be a set designer, you know, and you, you make your living from that. I'll give you an example. You know Pat Nebo? Yes, I do. Good. I'm designer. Unless bros, they hide down from us. Bros is a millionaire or a billionaire himself. <laughs> you know how much he makes from him? You know, you know, he's all over the place. All over the world, you know. It is, it is enough to sustain yourself if you are not extravagant. If you are not a showman. If you don't allow society to drive you beyond your, your, your means of livelihood, you understand? If you are a teacher as an actor, then you should be able to be disciplined to manage your resources from what, from, manage your resources to take care of you and your family. So yes, Azu, it is enough All right. to make, to, to give me a good life. This is enough. Okay. I, I love yeah. that. Now, I need, I need you to tell us about your first attempt at acting and what you still remember about it the first ever time you acted in our world, what you remember about that it, it, that was in my primary school in 1971 wow we all went to audition for a role that we we're going to a play we we're going to do and i was not chosen i was not chosen but i knew i, I got the script and I read everything, and I knew every line. So when they were practicing, I would be on my own side and practicing too. And the people who didn't choose me regretted it that they did not choose me, because ah, but this guy is saying all the lines. You know that because I would be on my own corner. Saint Thomas Aquinas in Surulere. Saint Thomas Aquinas Primary School and Atuna in Surulere. I'll be on my own in my own corner. I'll be re saying the lines as they were saying it in their rehearsal space. Then they will see me say, ah, you know that kind of. But they will not come and tell you that. Hey, we should have taken you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, it, it was a very painful thing for me. Like but later on, later on, I wrote a play exactly as that play that they did that I did not take part in. You understand, and. I, I gave it to my eldest brother to just look at it. And he said, wow, so you can write? I had not entered um, uh, uh, university then. No. That was, I think I was in class one in the secondary school or so. So which is the fondest role that you have interpreted as an actor and why? You're talking about stage or television or film? It, it, it could be any. I just need one. Stage, okay. television, home video, just one that you are so fond of. Let me take Professor Edem in Checkmate. Okay. 
that was that 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 has been the most challenging role I played because I was a very young man playing that kind of role, a professor in the university. You can imagine that was I had to fix beards in my on, on my chin, and then um, I remember that once I got on set, that that beard was put on my chin. I become I, I, I get very I, I I get into a very foul mood because it restricts the movement of my jaw. You know, yeah. I now had to talk tight lipped, but it was. A great challenge like I've been, I, I was taught in the in the university turn your turn your liabilities to your assets so I made the best use of that handicap to play that role and I think that's that that's been my very very I remember it all the time I may have done something else but uh, this one keeps coming to my mind professor let them in check me now have you ever regretted taking up any role if yes why i don't think so i've regretted working with some people but i've never regretted roles uh because uh, uh, we, we 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 were told that there are no small actors but there are no small rules but small actors no matter you give me the role whatever role it is i try to make the best of it uh i've never regretted any role i don't think so but i've regretted working with some directors and some actors yeah Okay, would you like to talk about those producers and directors that you want? I can't even remember them. I can't remember them. I can't remember them. That's the funny thing. I can't remember them. Yeah. I like. Uh, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. I can't remember them. I know. I like. I like. I like. I like that response. I like that response. Mm. Now you've been into <laughs> acting now for decades. What would you say has kept you going? What has been the the, the secret? Of your staying power. Dedication, commitment, and renewal. I keep abreast with stuff. I keep abreast with things that concern me, that concern my job, and I'm dedicated to it, I'm committed to it. That's it. Nothing else. I'm nothing ex nothing extra, nothing special. Okay. Now, I've chosen the Go you ahead. have chosen this profession, stick with it. You chose, when you left Encomium, you chose to open, yes. Right. And you have been there now for 20 years. Uh, more than 20 years, as you. Oh, yeah. you really tried. Oh, you very to do. Years. Yes. You, are, you see, you, 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 how, did you, how did you manage to sustain it? Dedication and commitment. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah.